communication is extremely important. And that's, uh, George Bernard Shaw said, you know, when everyone thinks you've communicated enough, you haven't. So it's a, it's a never ending, never ending process. Uh, but that's what I would like, the style that I would like to have, is to be very engaging, to be approachable, to attend as many uh, student events as I can, to speak to as many groups in different residences, non-residences, whatever, and, and be approachable. For uh, young people, as we all proceed in our careers, is the importance of mentorship. Uh, and, to, and for folks to identify and to actively seek out mentors. And that one should embrace challenge. Do not be afraid of the unknown and things that make you uncomfortable. This is a change is, is an ever constant really. The research that we should do and that we are involved with at the University of Stonewash should have relevance, it should have local relevance. It should be globally competitive, but it should be relevant to the problems that we have. One must always look at the broader concept of things. You need, as a gastroenterologist, this uh, gentleman told me, well, one should always think of the whole patient, the whole patient, not just the whole in the patient. And there's a difference between leaders and managers. So I'm sure folks have criticized me in the past for having too much of a managerial approach. You know, managerial approaches are, it's, it's performance dashboards and it's um, what outcomes and stick boxes. And, but those things are also, also important. In that the interest of the student is the only interest because that is what's central and from that flows all these other all the other things that we do. If a student is admitted to Stellenbosch University then we are committed that I am committed to that student's success and it's a people-centered uh, attitude and, and if, if we fail if that student fails it's our it's my failure uh, what would I like to do in my first six months? And the first is, is I'm going to be very disappointing to you all because I'm not going to do much. Why do I say that? I want to, uh, I've been told that folks in this type of leadership uh, position um, need to say very little, so I've already said way too much. <laughs> listen, you know, not, listen a lot and not quite a bit, but say very little. Um, because what one needs to get to know is, uh, I come in as an outsider, uh, but yet I am an insider, in a way, I, I grew up in that, but I don't know the system anymore. So I need to gauge the, uh, the heartbeat of, of, of this institution uh, and, and then come up with where we need to go. Um, the second point is that I said that I, is that I want to really consult and talk with people widely, like, like we're doing here. So uh, I must tell you, since I uh, news of my appointment uh, broke um, early in December, so I got a flurry of emails with this that and next. Time. So what do you think? Um, most of it, of which quite a good number were complex. Um, what do you think most of the complaints were about? I would say 90%. Parking. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so on the, on the one hand, that's reassuring. On the other hand, it's deeply worrying. worrying. What changes would you like to see um, within the university? One of the things that I really like to uh, work on is globalization, internationalization. The top three South African institutions are uh, UCT at 124 as a university worldwide. Um, WITS is ranked from 250 to 275 and Stellenbosch has newly entered from 275 to 300. But the point is, is that what does that mean, 275 to 300? It's out of, it's out of thousands of universities. It actually represents, this university is in the top 2% of all universities in the world. This is a fantastic place. Stellenbosch 
university is uniquely positioned at this time to really rocket up the rankings. So to, I would say in the next three, three, four years to about 200. I'm in favor of uh, a university, this is a very complex, very large organization with a budget of almost five billion a day. And, um, so it's a big business. Um, but we can't do everything. So if, when we say that, we need to focus on certain areas. So what I'd like to do is to focus on identifying certain strategic themes and then want to invest resources in those. So what do I mean by that? So for example, um, Global health. Um, I'm not. I'm just using an example. So you, when you talk about um, uh, the uh, climatology of the southern southern oceans or post-colonial democracies or comparative literature, um, and then you. So, so you identify such things, but you build it as an interdisciplinary thing. So it's cross cross factors. And you could even come up with uh, specific courses that allows for students to, uh, example, that actually was discussed in the management the management forum today, the planning forum today, is somebody who does math as a as a major could have philosophy as a minor. Um, or why not? And it's, it's common in, in, in American in American type uh, universities. But you must understand, um, academics and universities are very conservative places. They're extremely resistant to change. So I, I certainly found that in San Francisco, unique, and UCT was not unique. Harvard's not unique in that regard. Um, the University of Bologna was founded in 1262, I believe, it's the oldest university, and even on day two they complain about silence. So, it's not a, it's not a new problem. One of the things that, that, that really saddened me at, at, at UCT in, in health sciences was a fantastic student cohort, very diverse, uh, very engaging, as here. Um, there were the 220 spots in the MBCHB program, 220. We had 5,800 applicants. So people who, who were who had the minimum qualifications to do that. So how the heck do we know that number one, the top one, according to the criteria that we use, is going to be a better or a worse doctor than number 5,800. We don't have very good scientific ways of, of, making, of making that, that decision. So, what I think that, we, that I would like to really focus on is identifying people with potential. And, 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 and not necessarily um, just on marks. Uh, I think we need, to, we need to go for potential.